Hello my beautiful Aries friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back to all of my regular subscribers and friends and supporters. Thank you so much for being here. Your overview for the year 2022 is you are good enough full moon in Virgo. Virgo is a problem solver of the zodiac. Not only are you good enough, you're usually the best in the room. And there are times when you have questioned yourself, I think in 2021, you know, as to why other people would have had advantage and advantages over you. But those energies are gone. You are coming into a very powerful year and you are accepting your own self-value as your real value. And for you, Aries, you are so honest. You are the sharp end of the spear. You are Mars. You are always honest with everyone, including yourself. When we look at this fantastic overview, we see that you have had in this year that has been challenging 2021. As you move into 2022, you have many triumphs. We see this beautifully dressed large mouse, very elegant, holding this bird very much like the Nine of Pentacles Virgo energy. You have made many gains on many fronts and those tiny victories in the past set you up for an incredibly potent and powerful year ahead. The joy of the future. Now, what better card could we get than the joy of the future? Heart of the Fairy Oracle really speaks to the fact that even though you've, you know, 2021 was, you're happy to close it out. The joy of the future is right here. Everything is, that's like the magician card. That is you manifesting the future that you've always wanted, being very deliberate, being very powerful in the way you approach life in 2022. We see so much happiness coming in for you. Freedom is yours, the horse spirit, proud, fiery. You know, the horse is powerful, but they're also gentle creatures. The horse doesn't do anything to upset other people, but they're very powerful beings in their own right. They are very admired. You are very admired by many, many people, and you are going to run your life this year. You have the power, you have the spirit, you have the forward motion for a fantastic 2022. Protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels, Aries. Your physical body, how you present yourself in the world, this is an absolute powerhouse for Aries ascendance. This will apply to your birth and your astrology reading for the year. Uh, for Aries sun sign, it is very much taking your power. Aries, you are so powerful. Again, you are leaders. This is the emperor card. This is a masculine energy that is all about being very strategic, very successful, making every move count. You know, it's like being at the chessboard and being 10 steps ahead of everyone else. This is a card of tremendous mastery. There is, once you master anything, Aries, you typically maintain a position of authority in that field of endeavor, in that trait, skill, whatever it is that you bring to the table, you are recognized by those around you as being a leader. In your seventh house of relationship, if you are not already in a soulmate committed, very sweet, kind, loving relationship, this is your year, Aries. Two of Cups, Cancerian energy, really probably living with someone, but certainly feeling as though you have found the person that gets you, that understands you. These two almost look like twins with different haircuts. It really speaks to a deep love with somebody who returns that love with the same sensitive feelings that you have. Very soft, very watery, very kind, very loving. 
When we look at your personal money house, we are looking at the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. So what I'm seeing here is there is an effort on your part and you are supported by the universe to have two flows of income, two flows of earned income, because this is what you earn, what you create on your own. The Two of Pentacles says that you could be handling maybe a side gig with a regular job. You could have two different side Etsy businesses or anything like that. But it speaks to the fact that as you enter 2022, you are not ever going to allow one source of income to be your sole support. You definitely are thinking in a much more broad ranging way that says, you know, I'm going to have two sources of income. I'm going to include other sources and other income streams. You start out the year with two different income streams. You will develop that very beautifully with this emperor energy. Something that you do in the way of uh, self-employment, of you know working on your own is going to help you create mastery and abundance in this year now when we look at the eighth house on the astrology wheel that's scorpio it can be endings so some of you may have been laid off from a job you wouldn't feel as though your investments are where they need to be. There is, with the Five of Swords, a sense of loss. But when we come into this year, you start to recoup whatever you lost in 2021. Again, many people lost jobs due to the world circumstances. And it really speaks also to the fact that you are not going to count on a partner to create any financial abundance in your life if they have it great if they don't you know that's part of what you're accepting in the relationship however what i see is that there would be a tightness in credit there would be a tightness or a restriction when i say tight a, a feeling of restriction in terms of being able to access loans you know your maybe retirement funds anything like that the five of swords says that you didn't do anything to deserve this you know the outside world the circumstances took over in this situation you are mastering that that piece of information is very much a part of your plan for the future moving forward now when we look at your third house we're looking at communications we're looking at contracts. We're looking also at your immediate neighborhood. We're looking at siblings. We're looking at cousins. And what I'm seeing here is that there's somebody in the arena of close relationships that probably has been struggling and will continue to struggle through this particular year. The devil energy also makes you feel a bit restricted in terms of what you're offered uh, for contracts, it also tells me that very likely you'd really like to move out of your neighborhood, that you're finding it a place that feels restrictive to you. You may simply want a bigger home or a home with a studio or basement or workshop. The devil card says that for a short period of time, uh, this is a third house, probably you'll be through this energy, I would say, by the third month of March, that whatever you're going to do to move forward in your life and to whatever you're going to do for your living arrangements, I think will be very well planned. The devil cards, it's Capricorn energy, so you're being very practical. If you need to stay where you're at, even though you don't like it for a period of time, we see that you will because we have two emperors, which is all about strategy. The nine of swords also tells me that in your ninth house, I don't think that you care to go back to school. You know, you're really in this very sort of local uh, energy. The Nine of Swords does speak to the fact that you don't see yourself really traveling long distance much. You don't see yourself going to school. It does show that you're a little bit up in your head about it, but I really don't see this as worrisome. I see your, your double emperor energy as a powerhouse that will carry you. Um, but this is you really assessing the situation. You would like to move far away, I think. You would like to leave a place that feels very restrictive. But what I'm seeing here is that you and a partner are going to decide 
uh, strategically to sort of stay put at least for a few months, three months, nine months, however it works out. We see this energy of the emperor in your fourth house of home. Home is all about where the heart is. This can be your physical location, but your fourth house is the rulership of your mother, of everything that was nurturing to you. It looks as though many of you came from possibly a big family. What it tells me is that you will likely run your empire, your empire that's going to give you abundance. You're going to handle a lot of different people. I feel as though many of you are going to have an e-commerce site. You're going to be dealing with a lot of um, different people, different clients, different customers. They're looking up to you. They see you as somebody who has a unique craft, skill, talent, and or product that will be very easy for you to manage. It'll be a little chaotic, but I also think it's what you don't want to interrupt what's going on here. So I think that you decide to stay put strategically. What I get in the 10th house is it looks as though Somebody owed you an apology and a career move. It looks as though you've been in some situation that was unfair. And I'm getting that your attitude is like, so what? Poof, it's gone. I don't care. I don't want to hear from those people. They have no impact on me anymore. The Five of Cups reverse says you don't even give a hoot about an apology. You just don't have any energy for people who took from you, who treated you badly, you are totally focused in a positive manner. You're totally focused on what you can build, on you know what you're going to give yourself and the world at large, the gifts that you bring to the table. Now we have an incredible card and you know, look at this, horse spirit, proud, fiery, successful, you know, the angels are on your side, the joy of the future, the little victories just coming one after the other. We see that in your fifth house of romance, love, gambling, uh, we also see performance. It could be the performing arts. The star card means that your star is blessed. The angels are paying attention. The joy of the future rests on you. You are about to become an absolute rock star in a creative venture. This also means that if you have children who are at the age where they could get acclaim or acknowledgement, they too will be promoted to a new job or get recognition. But the star card is Aquarius energy. It is the energy of enlightenment. Look at this. She has a magic wand. It, 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 she is, you know, when we see this sort of fairy wings in here, that you are creating a majestic, beautiful future from yourself out of your creative talents, out of your own genius. When we look at the element that says that, you know, you it does look as though many of you, especially if you're a certain age range, you felt some loss with friends, but what I get here is the Four of Cups, you, you really recognize that you've had a very good run in life, that you're very fortunate. So some rain must fall in terms of some losses with friendships. You, some friends may ha be having hardships is how I'm seeing it. They may be having health problems or they can have other issues. And it does look like, you know, it certainly dampens your spirit to see friends who are struggling. However, you do maintain your balance. You're very sympathetic. You're very giving. You're very loving and loyal. Of course, Aries, you know, you just are wonderful friends. And so with this Four of Cups energy, you know, to every to every life, a little bit of rain must fall. And I don't see it as being things that are going to be directly about you. The energy in your sixth house of everyday life, 
of your everyday work life, your health, your environment, what you're creating day to day. You're using a lot of wisdom. You are elevating yourself. You are separating yourself from other people. To me, this is very much about the two of coins, creating a business uh, to, to create two different flows of income. The Hierophant says that you will use your absolute traditional values in terms of work. I feel that many of you with the Hierophant may get a very lovely corporate job that offers great benefits, that offers you a sense of freedom and security that will make you very happy. But I also see you sitting over here. The Hierophant is traditional institutions. You know, it's oftentimes banking and airlines. It's in the United States, we would call it Fortune 500 companies. That is a big owl. <laughs> that is a big bit of wisdom there for you. But you are really keeping a little bit of distance, so you have this security, but you're over here acting as the emperor on your own behalf in something, a business or, you know, like an Etsy business or something you're doing from home. So you have this beautiful, you know, you can stand on one foot, you can juggle a lot, you're at the top of your game, you're elevated on top of the skyscraper, and you're just simply willing to sort of go through whatever challenges there are. You're going to keep your stability. And we see judgment behind the scenes. You are growing. Look at this judgment card is taller than skyscrapers. Your acclaim, your acknowledgement, your ability to be successful out in the world with these two emperor manifestations. Judgment card is Scorpio energy. It is dramatic change. It's releasing that which does not serve you. And in doing so, we have Gabriel's trumpet. The angels are very much cherishing you. They are rewarding you. They are acknowledging joy for the future. You have fought many small battles. You have learned many things that may have seemed very disparate, you know, sort of scattered, but they are coalescing into a powerhouse energy. It's going to catapult you into your new life in 2022 a life in which nobody else is going to ever hold you beholden to them uh, for what you need what you want what you get what you receive you are your own hero this year we look at the energy of a positive relationship around you so this can be anyone okay so when i pull five cards this is a friend a co-worker this is you will know who this person is when i reveal the cards and then so i look at one relationship that looks very happy that you'll be witnessing and i do look at a challenging relationship this is a shadow deck so let's take a look and see in your relationship star card the star card you have it here you have it here so this really speaks, it can even be a relationship with yourself, but it shows that you are surrounded by people who see your value, these two emperor cards. People see your value. We also get the daughter of pentacles reversed. So if you do have a, a child in your life who is a rock star at what they do, they may feel restless, they may want to change, they may want to pursue something different. They will seek counsel with you because they see you as a star. So we have also the energy that they may be, you know, again, daughter can be any younger person. It could be niece, nephew, dear friend, uh, but it really shows that they're seeking your counsel. They see your wisdom. They see you've been through life, that you're very smart. And they're going to come to you with questions about what choice should I make? We see the Eight of Cups. You really encourage them to leave behind things that make them unhappy. You encourage them to live in a very honest, forthright, spiritual way. You, you encourage them to have live in their integrity, to understand that even if they can't leave something comfortably right away, that there is this wonderful energy that says, look at, 
you're going to get where you want to go. You may not be there now, but have the courage to leave what you don't want behind and start over. And it does look like this person with your help, with your um, wisdom, really begins to see something that they want in their future and you help them achieve a new beginning in the year 2022 so very powerful again somebody very close to you somebody that you uh, you know you put your wing over them if you were a bird so now we get the energy of the dark side and look at the dark side has the wheel of fortune so while 2021 may have had some dark energy, boy, oh boy, the Wheel of Fortune is about Jupiter. It's the planet of good fortune. It's hidden in your 12th house right now, but it speaks to the fact of you working behind the scenes with this emperor energy at home. You're kind of a workaholic right now in your space, but it's helping you develop this money. The Wheel of Fortune says that when you make a step forward into whatever it is that you are manifesting you're working on this i'm i don't want to speak about manifesting as if it's some sort of magical you know trick it's not you've been doing the work it's very clear many tie you know tiny victories you've been increasing your skill set you've been working up to this you know ship having come into your harbor the knight of cups whatever it is that you're going to launch that is your creative endeavor. You are stepping out of the bonfires of the past. You are getting recognition. Very much judgment energy here and here. Very much being willing to acknowledge your own talent psychologically. Really being willing to have the courage to step into your joy, your happiness, a nine of cups. I love this card. It's so beautiful. It's this Beautiful pelican, you know, just catching fish just by opening her mouth for her babies. You know, it's this energy of abundance and happiness and joy. Eat, drink, be merry, enjoy your life. So we have this gorgeous, gorgeous year ahead for you, Aries. I know you guys have sort of been through it this year, but you are coming into a year like you have not had. I would say you will, 2021 will usher in an energy that you have not experienced for many, many years. 2022, that's two plus zero is two. Two plus two is four. Four plus two is six. It is a year of amazing stability for you. What a stellar year. It's the building block for an incredible year, Aries. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.